Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I am a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are doing some thrift flips. I'm very excited. When I choose to do thrift flip videos, I really do them for items that I got for myself that I just want to tweak. I don't usually like go to the thrift store looking for something to flip. Does that make sense? So sometimes my flips aren't like these giant transformations, but they're things that I genuinely got but needed to like tweak or change. I have four items today and I'm very excited about all of them. But before we jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. If you'd like, you guys can subscribe. Leave a comment below and let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see more from me of. You know I thrift, you know I DIY. Just let me know what you guys love seeing most. I'm sure everybody's gonna say something different, but let me know below. Let's jump right on into things with project number one. The first thing I grabbed at the thrift store is this amazing basket purse. I was so in love with this when I saw it. You guys know I have a thing for baskets. This purse though did have an issue with it. These circular handles, although they were cute, the one was breaking and I didn't really see a way to fix it. I also am not a huge fan of having to hold a purse in my hands all the time. I would prefer like an on the shoulder thing. Maybe that's like a mom life thing, but honestly, I just think that's way more convenient. I made a plan to remove the existing handles and remake some straps. To do this little thrift flip, what I did was I went to the thrift store again and I thrifted these two black belts. I realized I needed two belts because one just wasn't gonna be long enough. I would have again needed to have like very short, tiny handheld handles and I wanted longer ones. I tried to find two identical belts and the only ones I could find were these skinny black ones. They're almost the exact same. They are a little bit different, but really you can't tell from any sort of distance. The next thing I needed to do was remove the existing handles. So I first went in and I was going to just cut them off and leave the little circular hardware. But as I started to do this, I realized that there's going to be a lot of little like I don't know what you would call it, like little wicker frays happening and I couldn't get a nice clean cut. I decided to just go ahead and try and remove these circular hardware and obviously the handle and everything else. And when I did that, it actually worked out so much better. All that's left are these two very tiny holes. Once the handles were all removed, it was time to cut my belts. What I did was cut the shorter belt to size and then the longer one I just matched up to the shorter one. But what I did was actually leave two belt holes on the one end. This is because to attach these belts to the basket, I am using something called rivets. I've never used rivets before, so I watched a YouTube video about them. I found them at my craft store. But when you use a rivet, I had to make a hole through the basket and I also had to make a hole through the belt. So by using the belt holes, I didn't have to make a hole on the one side, but I just used like the screwdriver thing to make the holes. It was super easy poking a hole through the basket. It's just like basket material. I also went and measured. I just used this little tool I had on the table and some tape to measure the distance of where I wanted my handles to go. Also put the belt on and I just used a pen to mark where the holes were. Then I was able to attach the rivets. Basically you use this tool and these little rivets and you hammer them down and hope for the best. Mine are definitely not perfect, but it's my first time ever using rivets and I am so proud of myself with how this whole transformation turned out. This purse is literally better than I could have imagined. I actually love it so much more, although maybe some of you will have liked the original handles. They were breaking, so I'm super happy with it. And here's what it looks like before. And here it is now. Number 
two. I picked up this cute little palm planter. You'll definitely remember this from my thrifting my Pinterest video. I just love it. I asked you guys for plant recommendations to go in it. But then somebody told me I should turn it into a candle and I was like, yes, that's what I want to do. Instead of potentially killing another plant, I just decided to turn this cute thing into a candle. I also felt like it had more of a candle vibe because of the like dried palm on it. So I almost felt like I didn't want something green coming out of it because it had like a dried palm on it. I don't know. So we're going to turn it into a candle. To make this candle, I have some old wax that I got this wax, you guys. I've had this thing for like four years and I thought I need to use this stuff. It's sitting in my craft bin. I also have some wicks that I picked up and I'm going to be using some essential oils to make it smell good. I'm kind of winging this. If you guys want to watch like a legit candle making tutorial, you probably should just watch that. But what I did was I used a double boiler to melt down my candle wax. Once it was good and melted, I added in some essential oils. I chose to give it kind of like a Christmassy smell. Honestly, I think that all candles should just smell like fall and Christmas. Those are the best candles. Then I went and trimmed my wick down to size and I did a dab of hot glue and glued the wick to the bottom. Also used a little skewer to kind of like hold the wick upright and in place. Now it was time to pour in the wax and hope for the best. That is what I did. And then I let it cool. Here is how my candle turned out. Number three, you guys, it's not an Emily Faith thrift flip without bleaching something. You guys know I have bleached shirts in the past. I've bleached black ones. I bleached a like this really orange shirt. I will make a little playlist below of my videos where I have bleached my thrifted clothing. I love kind of discovering how it's gonna turn out. I thrifted this red shirt and I actually had something else for it in mind, like I wasn't gonna keep it, but then I put it on and I really loved it on me, but I'm not a fan of red on myself. Red doesn't always bring out the nicest tones in my skin, but I thought, what will happen if I bleach this red shirt? Now I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping that it would turn out like a pale pink. A girl can dream. Let me tell you what I did. I got a bucket. I grabbed these from the dollar store. I use them when I need to do little DIYs like this. Filled it up with water, added in my shirt, dumped some bleach in there. I never measure. My guess is like that I do like a cup or half a cup. I don't know. But I just pour some bleach in. And then I usually let my shirt soak all day and then overnight and then I check it the next day. Usually what I do is just throw it into my washing machine on like a rinse cycle just to try and get that bleach out. Then I'll wash it with a load and dry it. Before I show you how things turned out, I wanted to add whenever I do bleach shirts, it does have a very, very strong bleach smell. So in order to get this out, what I have done is maybe this is silly, but I'll literally wash this shirt every single time I do a load of laundry for the next like month. And that's the only way I found to get the bleach smell out. And if anybody else has any other like ideas or ways to get the bleach smell out, let me know. But that is what I have found that works. Are you guys ready to see how my bright red shirt turned out? Here it is. are on to the fourth and final thrift flip. I found this super cute hat at the thrift store. I have been hunting for a straw hat and you guys, I love my flat brim hats, but I have been seeing some super cute hats lately with this curved brim. And I thought, you know what? I can rock a curved brim. I think it definitely has a little bit of like a vintage feel to it. One girl I follow on Instagram, she always wears this hat with a curve and I was like, why not? And so I found this one, but this black bow on it was giving me six year old 
picnic vibes and not like I am a grown woman vibes. I removed this bow and I was hoping it would just come off clean, but of course, there's some glue left. I went in and um, tried to pick it off, but was struggling. So I went in with my blow dryer and tried to warm it up to take it off. I only needed to remove the top part of this hot glue because the bottom part, we're actually going to add another thrifted belt to the bottom. So I will be covering up that hot glue. This is the belt that I got thrifting. Once I was able to get the hot glue off of the top, then I went in and I got this thrifted belt, which I cut down to size and I simply hot glued it down again. <laughs> there is a tiny bit of a seam, but I tried to like line up the belt perfectly. Are you guys ready to see how this super cute hat turned out? Here it is. with these thrift flips. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. So always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.